Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking, I'm truly grateful. So today I'm coming your way with another video and I'm going to show you the CF Moto TRG 1250 uh, motorcycle. This motorcycle was first shown in the Shanghai Auto Show last year and now it's starting to hit the showroom. So I'm going to take you on a walk around of the bike so you can take a look at how the bike looks like. So come with me. Alright, so I'll start from the dash area and as you can see it comes with a big windshield. It's like a Mayo Dian about Mayo Dian. Okay. So there's no battery so I can't um, show you how the dash looks like when it's lit. But this is the front setup and you've got your cylinder uh, brake fluid cylinders up here. Uh, I'm guessing this is for some other kind of hydraulics. And let's take a look at the handlebar from the right. So the usual front brake. And you have the hazard switch, um, start, stop. And you have your light um, button. And you have, it's keyless. So all you need to do is press that. And then you can uh, get the fire the bike up. And you also have adjustable front forks right there now let's take a look at the left side so you have this button for adjusting the windshield up and down you have cruise control right here and you have your light control high beam low beam pretty standard and you have these navigation bars for navigating the screen the turn signal and your horn right here so overall it's a really nice setup and this is just like a car for adjusting the mirrors so adjusting the rear mirrors because they're pretty far from the rider so you, you can reach it whilst on the go and overall I like the steering setup it looks like a really nice design and it's coated in black so that gives it a really nice touch and then we come all the way to the fuel tank um, I don't know what size is it, but it looks big and ready for long distance travel. And looking on the side, you have the engine in there. You have your foot peg, your brake paddle, all looks really, really solid. Your center stand. So it's a twin cylinder. Um, let's see what's going on here. So it's twin cylinder all coming through one pipe. To the exhaust and in there you have the radiator it looks really cool stretches all the way from one end to the other you have your front forks and if you look down there you see a lot of tubes and I guess for brake hydraulics and all that and then let's take a look at the front view so this is how the front looks like you have your turn signals integrated into the mirrors and you have your lights I don't think you're gonna need any auxiliary, auxiliary lights for this bike it looks like it has so many lights daytime running low beam high beam uh, it must be bright I'm guessing and so that's the full view of the front of the bike Now moving to moving to the exhaust, so it stretches all the way down below. So it runs below the side pannier, and it's not touching it, so it's not going to be an issue with heat. And you have your foot peg for the rear passenger. Now, as you can see, CF twelve eighty. Dash 2, I'll show what that means. There's a 1250 engine, and you have your side panniers. They are locked now, I can open them, but you've got all your controls right here for release and to open it. And you can lock it with a physical key, and it has a handle you can carry it along. And taking a look at the rear, so it comes with this really huge rear tire 
and it's a 190. As you can see, your brake setup there, your ABS disc, and your brake caliper in there. It's not a big caliper, but I think it should do a good job. And this, the way this whole bike is set up, you don't have to worry about mud or debris on the road hitting you because it's really, really covered. And you have, I'm guessing, this smoked glass in there is the daytime running light and the turn signals are integrated and you have the brake lights as well I like it because it's all white but then when it's turned on when it's illuminated it will show um, the color red or orange depending on what function is activated and you have this top rack I don't know if you can install or it comes with uh, a top box but looks like it comes from factory so if you want to install it you should be able to do that and looking on the right side you have the on the left side of the bike from where I stand you have the left pannier and you have the chain setup um, chain adjuster right there so nothing really different from other bikes uh, the wheels are gray and they have a nice feel to the touch and I like the setup because it's not too crowded so it shouldn't be too difficult to service the chain or to to clean the insides we come to this side we see the swing arm and again foot pegs <laughs> Baba empty. All right, and then on this side we have this uh, center stand. So he was just asking me uh, which one I prefer, and I said I, I prefer the 800 MT that I showed on my channel uh, a few months back. I'll put a link up there. So you, if you haven't seen that video, you go and take a look at it. But let's move on with this one. So you have the swing arm right here, and you have your center stand, all from very high quality metal and I like the feel of the motion uh, yeah all right you get your center stand you get your gear lever and the engine is tucked in really nicely so in case of a crash you're not really going to um, damage the engine it will just be the plastics uh, unless it's an extreme fall and these screw holes have been provided here. I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing it's for crash bars or something. I'm not really sure. And we can't really see the brake caliper of the rear, but uh, on the front, you can see it's Brembo. Of course, a big bike like this needs powerful brakes. And you have twin discs on the front with ABS. And it looks like double pistons on each side. So it should have a strong bite in in braking. So yeah, it looks like a, a really, really nice bike. This is, it. the setup looks very similar to the 650 that you can see right there. The 650 has been around for some time. So this 1250 is like a, uh, a 650 on steroids. And I have to say, this bike looks really really nice got a CF motor right there nice aluminum um, the seats are soft and seems like it will be comfortable on a long long ride and you get your fuel fill cap Yeah, so that is the 1250 CF Moto. It looks really, really nice. For those who are interested in this, these kind of bikes, it's another option that you can consider. Maybe a much cheaper option than the uh, Honda and the, and the BMW. So yeah, let's go and take a look at the screen and I'll show you what the dash looks like.
，跟这次一样的。对。很好，很好。All right, so yeah, he was just showing me uh, an Android Auto, so they don't have Apple CarPlay yet. But if you can see in here, there are cables, so you connect it to your phone, and you can push your navigation onto the screen. So you just have you, you you can put your phone away, and uh, off you go. You don't have to worry about it. So overall, it looks really, really nice. All right, guys. So that's the end of this video. I hope you, I was able to show you enough of the uh, 1215 CF model. And for those who have interested, are interested in this bike, it's already in showrooms here in China. I don't know about where you are, but just look around if you're interested. Get a, a test ride. So once again, thank you so much for watching. So I see you in the next video, guys. Right, legal, right, safe, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.